which is going to be the Planck's constant, and this is going to be 6.626 e to the negative 34 uh, joules times the second. And that's going to be equal to 4.136 e to the negative 15 electron volts times the seconds. But we can also say that these are units of angular momentum. Angular momentum. Uh, so that means that this is actually more equal to 6.626 e to the negative 34 uh, kilograms times meters squared over seconds squared. Um, and then we'll just multiply that by seconds as well, right? This is joules times seconds. So we have angular momentum involved with um, the Planck's constant. Well, before we get all excited about that, let's just take a detour and take a look